All right, what's going on, guys? This is your boy Kid Twist. Welcome to the House of Entertainment. Um, this is my thoughts on uh the winners of uh, Showtime because I, I don't have HBO. The winners on the Showtime fight today. Um, I want to congratulate. Um, well, I guess Psycho Bika. Even though it was a split decision, it was a draw, so nobody won in that fight. So I really that one. Um, but let me go ahead and congratulate Lara, Erislandi Lara. He did a great job. I predicted him to win. I told you guys, you know, that they were both pretty similar. Other than the fact that Lara, I believe, has way more experience. And he he, he brings the power. He brings the power. He, um... I like what he did, man. He dropped, um, he dropped Trout. He dropped Trout, and uh, instead of going after him, he still, you know, he still stayed calm and collected and stayed to the game plan. You know, um, that goes to show you, man. Lara is one of those fighters that anybody he goes in there with, he'll give him a hard time. You know, whether it might be Canelo or Mayweather. And look, I'm not saying this, but. I tell you what, if he was to get in there with Mayweather, he would give Mayweather a, a tough day at the office, as they say. You know, because Lada, man, he, great, great foot speed, I mean, uh, great hand speed, power, and food mo foot movement, you know. I mean, the guy brings everything to the table, man, he does. Um, congratulations, Lada. Uh, really, we was really one of the, the main fight I really care for, you know, because he's Cuban just like me, so... I'm real happy about that fight. Um, congratulations to Porter, man. I, I did not expect it. I thought Alexander was going to do his thing. You know what I'm saying? Um, that's why I really didn't do a video on it. I figured, you know, whatever. It's just going to be another guy. You know, Alexander. You know, I didn't figure it was going to be a tough challenge. But um, homie did his thing, man. He put in work. They were hugging a little too much. They were grabbing a little too much, but maybe that was part of the, of the. <clears throat> excuse me. Maybe that was part of their, fuck, of their game plan. You know, of their strategy. Um, but they were both hugging. So I guess I don't know. Maybe that was part of their game plan or whatever. But um, I mean, the guy when he did his thing, he hurt. Um, uh, Devin Alexander several times in that fight and um. He was just relentless. He was just going after Alexander. Like, he showed that he really wanted that title, and I'm glad he won. Good job. Good job to Sean Porter. And last but not least, man, good job to Malanaji, man. Um, you know, he's been through a lot. Um, the top decision against um, Adrian Broner, which could have went either way. You know, and uh, he came back, and he showed that he still got it. He's still hungry. He still won it. And he did his thing, man. The guy, I mean, you know you got to be good when you don't have no punch power. And you out there fucking going toe-to-toe -to -toe with, with elite fighters. You know what I'm saying? You know, this guy been there with Kodo, Khan, you know, Zab. Zab is not really elite. But, yeah, still, Zab is a pretty good fighter. You know, he's been there with Kodo, Zab, Khan, um... All the ones I can't think about right now. I think, oh yeah, Hatton. I think with Hatton. He's been there with several good fighters, man. So, um, you know, good job to um, to Paulie, man. I, cool, Paulie's a cool guy, man. I like Paulie, man, you know. And um, it's good to see him do good. And um, I'm definitely looking forward for him. I'm definitely looking forward to see him fighting again. Definitely. Um, whether it might be the winner of Adrian Broner. Or um, Adrian Broner and Madonna, or whichever the case might be. Um, the same thing goes for uh, Sean Porter, man. Definitely looking forward to seeing him fighting again. Um, I want to say, I believe, all right, I think, yeah, Keith Thurman is 147, right? Keith Thurman. Um, so if Keith Thurman wins, I wouldn't mind seeing Keith, Keith Thurman and him going at it. You know, they both, I believe they both undefeated, so that should be a good fight. And Lada, man, I want to see, to be honest with you, man, I would love to see Lada with Mayweather. I mean, shit. Robert Guerrero gets a paycheck. Fucking 
Victor Ortiz get a big fucking paycheck. You know what I'm saying? Why not my fucking countryman get a big paycheck? I'm not saying that he's going to knock Mayweather out or anything like that. But, I mean, everybody got a chance. I mean, those guys who really are not as good as Lara in their best fucking day, they will never be as good as Lara. Those guys get the big paycheck shit. Might as well throw Lara in the sweepstake. You know what I'm saying? Either, either Lara against... Mayweather or against Canelo, definitely. Anyways, this is my pre- um. I can't say the post fight, post fight um, conversation, but this is my um. The way I feel about you know this uh, the winners of this uh, fight tonight on in Showtime. All right, it's your boy Kid Twist. This is House of Entertainment. I'm out.